What is up you guys? So today I'm going to show you how to rewire Ableton into Pro Tools. So it's not too hard. Uh, quickly explain how to do it and then show you step by step. So how you quickly do this is you open up a blank or a, a current session that you're working on in Pro Tools. You add a instrument track to that. Then from there you uh, go to instruments on that instrument track on insert and then engage the Ableton under instrument and that will give you the rewire box for left and right and the buses you could assign and then once you have that established you can start up Ableton and you can route things from inside of Ableton to different buses that you could have uh, routed into Pro Tools so not very hard let's get started step by step so again this is a blank session uh, the I.O. and the bit rate and the sample rate, all that stuff matches my Ableton settings, so there'll be no problem there. My BPM, uh, my tempo, is at 128, same as uh, my Ableton session. And now I'm just going to uh, click on Shift-Command-N. Uh, oops, not that. It's Shift-Command-N. I keep... Oh, I'm on screen flow. My bad. Shift-Command-N. And... Uh, so you can see shift command n gives me the dialog box for new audio tracks so i'm going to add uh, i'm going to press command down arrow to add a instrument track so wherever it is one stereo instrument track i, f I wish i remembered the key command to switch between mono and stereo in this box but it doesn't matter so then we're going to press shift command down arrow to add one audio mono track shift command down arrow again to add three stereo audio tracks and shift command down arrow to add one master fader stereo and uh, we're going to create all these let me just make sure everything's right blah 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 yep and now we have as you can see my mono track my three stereo tracks my master fader in stereo and my insert i mean uh, my instrument track so now that i have my instrument track i'll go insert which is uh, pretty much like plugins in Ableton, if you're unfamiliar, and you go instrument, then you go to Ableton Live, and now you see the rewire box is set up. So then you can start up Ableton. Now you can uh, turn on Ableton and open a session that you want to rewire in. And I've already done that to save some time, but uh, I set all this up before anyway, so, uh, but I'm, explain everything I'm doing so don't think uh, you're missing out on anything and you can see right here in Ableton now I have my audio assigned to rewire so I would just the quick way to do this is select all the tracks that you want to rewire in and then once uh, so you go to the first one then on the last one click on shift and shift click I mean and then you can go to audio 2 rewire and uh, I'm going to set all of them to left and right for right now. So you can see all my, they're all being routed to left and right. And you can also do buses. So what I like to do is I like to send my kick to bus three and four, claps to five and six, and samples to seven and uh, six and seven, and, you know, so on and so forth, toms, eight and nine, uh, roll, nine and ten, and so on and so forth. So let's go back into Pro Tools. And let's uh, let's assign some buses, or let's make some sense. So here on our instrument track, we have to make some buses for uh, when we route everything to different audio tracks. So we're gonna s create a bus for uh, three and four, a bus for five and six, and you know so on and so forth for all the buses that you need. And uh, what I, I quickly like to do is I like to click on I like to hold option and click on the fader to set it to unity really quick and I'll just do that with all of them like so set them all there and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna go to audio one which is my mono I, I should have renamed this uh, kick mono next would be bus five and six five and six, seven and eight, um, eight and nine, nope, nine and 10. 
and so on and so forth. And uh, oops, my phone went off. And then you go to right here on inputs, and you can select bus three for the mono. You can select bus five and six here. And pretty much you get the idea. You just route everything the way you want it. And they work pretty nicely together. I'm on Pro Tools 10. Uh, my OS X is Mavericks. And my Ableton version is 9.1. So uh, I do this quite often. And they always work really fine. So you don't have to worry about the most current version of Ableton not working with you know, Pro Tools. And even on my operating software, uh, it all works fine. So now that I have everything kind of routed, so I created my sons, I put my uh, inputs to uh, the right buses, and I renamed some things. Now I can just go ahead and record if I wanted to. So right now my uh, Ableton is set to left and right, so I could record everything that's routed to the left and right into any of these. But uh, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to uh, go back here send my kicks to 3 and 4, claps to 5 and 6, uh, sample to 7 and 8, toms to 9 and 10. So again, I would go in sequential order like that all the way through my whole track, even my send sometimes, and that's what I would do. And now let's go into Pro Tools to just show you how to record uh, something like that. So now I would arm a track. I would set, if I only want to record bus 3, or to record bus 3 and 4, I have to select bus 3 and 4 here in the rewire. And then I would just start around here, record, and I'm going to uh, mute this real quick and just let it record. So this is my kick track. So in Ableton, you can see that my kicks don't come in until bar 9 and 15 seconds around there. So same thing will happen here. Bar nine, that's when my kicks will come in. They're uh, synced. And it's recording in mono because it's a mono track. So that's the quick example now. Let's do five and six. So five and six, I'll arm that track. I'll keep this muted. Uh, and let's go back to the beginning. And let's see, so this is there, that's there. Then we're all set. Let's just do that again. Uh, let's just do go 9 and 10. And so we'll set our rewire to 9 and 10 first. Arm 9 and 10. And just go ahead and record. So that's how I would transfer some things. Uh, you can transfer pretty much anything MIDI or audio from Ableton into audio here. You could also transfer MIDI too, but uh, you would have to kind of put those somewhere on your computer first to in, uh, import them in. And uh, you get the idea. That's how you rewire into Pro Tools uh, with Ableton. And that's pretty much it, you guys. So hopefully some of you guys will find this useful. I will do another tutorial today uh you know a typical sound design request and uh be sure to look out for that and thanks guys for watching like always